the main course we are making yuzi yang egg plant which is another vegetarian chinese delicacy for which what's the first thing that we need to do chef all right first thing is we need some egg plant which i have already washed cut into fingers if you see here right i put them in water so that they don't tarnish off we drain them of the water okay in the bowl first thing is to marinate it with the corn flour okay so this is normal routine everyday eggplant which is used in indian cooking yes so then we are going to coat this yeah. with corn flour we have some corn flour there. so Each how much spoon, okay about uh, that would be 7 grams roughly okay and if you need more in the end then you can just add more perfect so this is going to be fried on high heat yes okay because if we fry it in the low heat the oil will penetrate inside it and will not be crispy right are we done now you see it's already done golden brown the eggplant is cooked from inside at the same time it's crispy from outside as i right. see said drain it off the excess oil That is ready. ready. Okay, so now we need to just make the sauce. Exactly. So what's the first thing we need for the sauce? For that, let's heat the pan a little bit. Okay. Put some oil to it here. Okay. So are we just smearing the pan with oil? Yeah. Or do we need to add like a certain quantity of oil? Since I'm making it in a non-stick pan, I require right. the least amount of oil. We just wait for the oil to get hot. Let's start with some tomato ketchup here. So Chinese cooking needs a lot of tomato ketchup, right? Yes, because we are making sweet and sour sauce. Right. So I need the texture of sweetness and the sourness. So sweetness, the tanginess would come from the tomato ketchup. Right. Put it here. And of course, it has its own distinct taste of tomatoes as well. So exactly. why not use something like this? And then after that, some fruit jam. I have here. Now this is very peculiar because I've never seen fruit jam being used in a dish. So what does this do? Uh, this will impart another fruitful texture, okay. which will give you a fresh taste to the food, and at the same time, it will add some sweetness. So, what jam is this, chef? Mixed fruit jam, some sugar. This is a seriously sweet sauce. Yeah, sweet and sour, I would say. Okay, so that's a little bit of sugar. A little bit of vinegar, I have there. Ha! Huh, so normal vinegar. Right. This will impart the sourness to the dish. And then a bit of salt. A bit of salt, of course. Very less, yeah. Because ketchup I have put right. also has a bit salt. of salt. Are we going to put any soy in this? No, this sauce doesn't need any. No, soy. not required. Okay. We just cook it for a while so that the jam, which has lump, will melt right. into it. So, see the sauce is ready. We need to thicken a little bit with corn flour. The corn flour is already dissolved in water. Okay. You see here. Just stir it for a while before you put it. Right. So keep it here, and I need to shake it continuously so that it doesn't form lumps. A little bit at a time. This should be enough. Okay. Here you go. Now we're stirring it. All the corn flour is dissolved and the sauce is thick. Nice. Now it's time to add some eggplant to it. Okay. And of course, we'll have to coat the eggplant with the sauce that we've just cooked. Yes, sweet and sour sauce. That is. We cook. Uh, for a little while with the sauce right. so that the sauce goes into the eggplant now i need some sesame oil thank you a very distinct flavor of sesame oil right now chef if we don't have sesame oil at home then can it be substituted with something else 
No, sesame oil as such has a very different taste. You're right, it does. I can smell it. So then one can just skip that part entirely. You can okay. skip. And in fact, if you have sesame seeds available at home, put lots of them. Okay. So, so you're going to add some right now. Yeah. A little bit because we'll be garnishing it right. also. A little bit of spring onions that you have. There you go. Thank you. This looks really nice. Very glazed and caramelized. Yeah. Almost ready. Right. It's a little bit moist. You'll enjoy it best with the steamed rice. And for finally, we garnish it with some sesame seeds. That's about it. And a bit of spring onions. There you go. Thanks. All right, perfect.